as an average guy DIYer, there is nothing better than to build a project that solves a problem. I think you guys are going to like this one. Welcome to our kitchen. One thing we've been noticing lately is we are actually running out of space on our counter. So our countertop is getting quite full. We actually go through it almost every week. Just yesterday I went through all of our cupboards and I literally removed everything that we don't need and that is junk and still we were out of room. This was quite an opportunity because it allows me to come up with a idea of how we can increase our storage in a small space. My whole goal with this project was to take back a lot of our counter space that we are losing out on. And when in doubt, it's always best to just look up. <laughs> Now these are 12 foot ceilings so whatever I build has to be very economical and accessible. So this is the idea that I have. So I'm going to build a floating shelf and it's not going to be encased at all. And the reason why I'm going to do that is so that I can see exactly what is up there at all times. This is only for light miscellaneous items. Um, it's going to be held uh, by up on the wall by two actuators. So one on the right, one on the left. And the electronics or the wiring is hopefully going to be able to be pulled behind this wall and uh, down through the cupboard. And there should be a little button here at the bottom. And how it will work is basically when you click on the button at the bottom, um, it just will lower itself nice and easy. And then it will stop and you'll grab exactly what you want. And then you just click the button again and it will go back up into place. Now there's a few things here that you need to know. The first thing is I didn't want to make the shelf end to end because of weight. And uh, I couldn't find any uh, two by fours behind here. So it looks like it's mostly just drywall. Um, so what we're gonna do is these are gonna be uh, installed into drywall. So it's gonna be screwed into drywall. So I don't wanna put too much weight on here. And if I make this big or super long, it will add to the weight as well. And the last thing is finish. I want the finish to be really nice on this project because I want it to match the kitchen. So everything at the end hopefully will be painted nice and white. Uh, obviously this is just a very rough draft of how it's going to end up. It could alter and change quite a bit. And that's what happens with projects. So even when you start, doesn't matter which project it is, it does evolve over time, especially when you start working on it. But that's the idea. So we're going to build an electronic drop down shelf which is pretty cool. And it's literally just going to be able to drop down at the push of a button. And we're just gonna take a look at it again. And it's gonna come down nice and easy. It's gonna stop, you're gonna grab what you want, and then it's gonna go back up. So I did this video in two parts just to show you guys what the upcoming project will look like and what we're gonna be working on. I've already attained a few parts that's needed for this project, so I'm getting super excited. I think it's going to turn out really, really nice. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for the support.